Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers speaking. I'm looking at a book um, from Hart Publishing on judicial recusal. This is the book here. It's Principles, Process and Problems by Grant Hammond. And there's a forward by uh, Stephen Sedley, a Lord Justice of Appeal. As is to be expected with Hart Publications, it's a heavy book in the sense of content. It's intellectually uh, demanding. It's written by a, a senior academic. The book itself is not a particularly long book. It's, it runs into just under 200 pages. There's a very useful bibliography at the back, which you can see there. And as I say, the, the review itself of this work is on the internet. And this is a Flickr review here. I'm going to give it a short appreciation. My wife and I have written some detail on this and we've given it the title when a judge is asked to stand down because this is really what it's about and I've only ever done one of these cases which we'll talk about in a minute. One of the principles of course of natural justice is that no one can be a judge in his or her, her own cause and when this principle or other similar principles are seen to have been eroded um, or ignored in, a, say, a court of law, then this judicial recusal application may be the inevitable outcome, which means that a judge could be asked to withdraw, or he, can, he or she can stand down. It's a thought-provoking uh, book which outlines three specific problem areas, um, which is judicial misconduct in court, prior viewpoints, and unconscious, uh, unconscious uh, bias. And, of course, the law relating to recusal, in the author's words, that's Grant Hammond, rests on the fundamental proposition that a court should be fair and impartial. He looks at the history, I'm not going to go into the chapters, but the chapter headings has got a very useful bit about Dimes and uh, Grand Junction Canal. Um, it's an odd word, I think it's rather a good word, personally, recusal, signifying withdrawal, originating in the religious concept of a recusant says uh, Stephen Sedley. Um, it's an assurance of the impartiality of, uh, of justice and a field of opportunity, of course, for manipulation. Now, um, I have some concerns about this because it's effectively a procedural application, as I see it, whereas I would have felt the need now would be for the underpinning of the rules of natural justice. However, it does occur when an aggrieved claimant feels that they, hasn't, uh, they haven't actually had a proper hearing. Obviously, people are more aware of their rights today in a, uh, in a highly litigious society, so the elements of recusal are going to increase. Um, Mr. Hammond um, was elected as the Robert S. Campbell Visiting Fellow at Magdalen, Oxford, and he's obviously put a great deal of effort into this. And I, what I do like is the the blending of the different jurisdictions and the approaches that we actually have. Um, the book itself is not actually a textbook, it's more of a sort of commentary, and it's an articulation, in our view, of, of Hammond's research mission to explain the central concepts that the courts have seen fit to employ when actually using recusal uh, within the common law world. Um, he gives a good analysis of features elsewhere, which I've indicated, and he also looks at future developments and reforms, and that's really where I come in, because having dealt with one of these cases, I couldn't understand why we'd even got that far. You would have thought the common sense element would say if there's any question, a judge would set, um, step down, and, but obviously there have been some problems. Um, Sedley points out um, that the book, for practically the first time in legal literature, sets out to address a, qu a question, when should a judge withdraw? Who decides and how do they uh, decide? And he adds that there's no short answer, which is true. I mean, we've got the Judicial Studies Board, and perhaps they might like to look at it at a later stage. I don't know. Anyway, I found it eminently readable as a book. Hart do go for the higher style, if you like, of writing. But I think it's excellent, and nonetheless it sheds considerable light on uh, what it means to be a judge and, and how you discharge that constitutional duty. It's to be welcomed. It's highly um, lucid as an examination of this controversial and complex subject and much needed. And, of course, it also highlights the need for what I'm calling for, which is a, a more clarity on the modern interpretation of the rules of natural justice. New Justice Secretary, uh, please take note. This is 2010. We have an election. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.